How often do you find an extraordinary bond between an employee and an employer? Not just any bond, but an authentic, off-the-wall and one-of-a-kind connection. Well, Tembi Ubisi and Malcolm Wenzel are exactly that. The pair has become an internet sensation by giving South Africans a glimpse into their lives and their relationship in a string of hilarious TikTok videos. For one, who gets a weekly bottle of expensive champagne and gets dropped off at home in an R8? Only Tembi. Here's an introduction into their lives if you haven't yet seen them on TikTok. Let's take a peek. I gave you lots of time to think about it. You must get more of it. 1,000. If you can take out that 100 rand underneath that bottle without you touching that bottle, then you can keep the 1,000. But he picked up the bottle. Yes, you said I must not. If we ask him, you can pick up the bottle. So, Scrum is not touch the bottle. And he didn't touch the bottle, he said. And then the money belongs to me. It's mine. You see, we have a lot of people to do. You see, I have a lot of people to do. No, you have to do it. Well, Timby and Malcolm, join us now on our video line here on the AM report. Good morning. Welcome to both of you. I think, Malcolm, it's clear to say that video is probably what launched this Internet sensation of what your relationship entails. And, and you were quite clearly outsmarted. Good morning. So tell us about how far back your relationship goes. Tembi, you're sitting there very quietly and very prim and proper, and that's certainly not the Tembi that we've seen in all the videos that have gone online. Tell us about your relationship with Malcolm. Hi, 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 everyone. <laughs> Thank you for, for giving me this small opportunity to talk to you guys. Uh, my relationship with Malcolm started when I work for him. And then... Uh, we started making videos, but not for TikTok, for us. Yes. Yeah, have fun Just together. For, our, for us, having fun together. There's a time where we have uh, terrible times together. So we were taking care of each other. Mm. So, it was, yes, so it, it was a little bit of a relief from other challenges, perhaps, that you had been facing, Tembi and Malcolm? Yeah, no, it's uh, not uh, other especially uh, uh, other challenges. It's just normal, normal things that occur in life. Mm. That uh, when you are down, then you can always count on. There's always persons like Tembi in this world that you can count on to lift you up. And uh, our relationship is goes two ways. You no, know? uh, we help each other. We carry each other through the, the obstacles in life. When things are going good. We're good in this together. When things are going bad, we help each other to get through it. Tembi, this is obviously not your typical employer-employee relationship. I, I would say just from seeing the two of you together on those videos, seeing how the two of you are talking about each other now, that there's real love in this relationship. Um, from my side, I think um, it's supposed to be how you treat somebody that works for you. Mm. Um, like I always say, you don't have people that, people is not supposed to work for you. You are working together with that person. Or those persons are working together with you. So you are in a team and treat, you, treat each other with respect and dignity and treat people the way they want to be treated. And then, yeah, that. Is a, that's a winning recipe. Yeah. Tembi, from your side? From my side, <clears throat> from my side this is real, man. man. Uh, you have to listen to uh, everyone who's telling you, uh, maybe guiding you. Because sometimes the, the, if things are tough, you think other way around. But uh, with Marco, even if I'm having problems, I put the problems on top of the table. He used to 
can be, can be, this will come uh, and pass. Let's, 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 let's uh, hold each other. We want thing. <laughs> this not, is not coming for permanent. The terrible times comes to pass. So I always enjoy myself with Malcolm in, in the home. You lie, man. Yeah, yeah. I, well, <laughs> he loves me, and I love, and I love the family because hey, I'm coming from terrible times. Say, ma'am, to explain that it will take the whole month. <laughs> so that's why I, if I move Malcolm and it treats me like I just I find someone which is uh, my parents. Tembi, you, you know, you're, you're talking to, to us about why this relationship is so special to you now because you've had perhaps relationships with other employers that have not been the way your relationship is with Malcolm. Tell us about some of those experiences without necessarily going into too much detail, but what's been your previous experiences? Malcolm uh, helps me a lot. I remember one day when my child gets to the university, I have no funds, I have nothing. So he he picked me up anyway, and I have no shoulder to cry on that time. So Malcolm was the one. So and my child now is a is an educated somebody mm. because of even if the old times Malcolm be my shoulder to cry on. And then he used to listen to me. Now, even now, he's listening to me, even if I'm having a problem. Mm. That is also not, um, that, that is true. But uh, like, like, like I said, we've got a two-way street relationship. What you give is what you get. And tembi has been there for me in rough times also. She's been there. She's been always fighting me for stuff that I do wrong. Um, she's a mentor for me. She's a person that I respect. My parents brought me up um, especially to, to, to respect elder people and also, you know, women, uh, especially women for them in this, uh, this time that we find ourselves in. Um, we, must, must, we must help women also, you know. We mustn't uh, look down on women because they are women. I have respect for elders and women and for, for your neighbor. You must love your neighbor. That is what South Africa must start doing is love your neighbor, love everybody, not for who they are, how rich they are, how poor they are. You must, you must love somebody and treat somebody like you want to be treated. Mm. I think a lovely message my... from, from the both of you, Malcolm, and I just want to end off by asking you, particularly, you know, you've talked about the difficult time that we're all in at the moment with COVID-19, uh, with some of our families affected. Many of us have lost loved ones to COVID-19, how has this relationship been special to you, particularly during this time in the pandemic? Um, for us, it, it brought us closer to everybody. My wife, Kiki and, and Tembi, come here, Kiki. Kiki and Tembi were thinking this time, they are always pranking each other. They are pranking me the whole time to uplift the spirit. And you know, if, if we are sending out a message from the Vensos and UPCs, we are sending it out to South Africa in this tough time, is not to focus on the negative, but to know that there's a positive out there that will reach you. Mm. Can be your final message for us? Uh, the final message is that uh, if we South Africans must hold each other, we must be tight. Uh, if there are someone who's seeing this racism, even if it's not there. They are, just, they are just ignorant in the world we live in it. Mm. So there is no reason. If we can uh, come together, even if you are a domestic worker, it doesn't mean you are a state. You have to work each other. You work with each other. You don't, don't, you don't look to that person that is going to work for you. We're helping each other. Mm. So if South Africa can copy from me and our, my family with Marco, can do it. Well, thank you yeah, to you both. Yeah. yeah, go ahead, my, Malcolm. Yes? Go ahead. Did you want to say one last thing? Well, one last thing. Um, yeah, I think we are done here. Yeah.
Thank you for this opportunity. Thank you, South Africa, for, for, for loving us. Thank you for following us, sharing us. And soon you will be watching us on a reality TV show. I'm sure we, we will, will make sure that South Africa changes. changes. If, wow. it's, if it's these two people that's going to do it, we will make sure we're going to do it. Well, you saw it on Newsroom Africa first. Uh, Malcolm Menzel and Tembi Ubisi, and that's Malcolm's wife there, Kiki, in the background. Thank you for that lovely, uplifting message on this Friday morning. Some good news is what all of us need uh, during this difficult time we're all facing as a country.